Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Today, let's cook some fresh caught Canadian salmon. Well, back before the summer, my buddy Tuffy Stone called me and asked me what I was doing. Early in September, he was referring me to the West Coast Fishing Club, um, who graciously invited myself and my wife to far northwest Canada, off the mainland in Haida Gwaii, basically Alaska, for an amazing bucket list fishing trip. Uh, I had to go cook for some guests and was, uh, you know, had the good fortune of, of fishing in like what felt like an untouched part of the world. I mean, the scenery was amazing, but we flew to Vancouver. We had to private charter almost two hours. Uh, and then from there, we helicoptered in about 20 minutes to super remote area. I mean, scenery wise, I saw killer whales. Um, I caught a rockfish and saved it and fed it to a bald eagle, uh, which honestly is the first time I've seen a bald eagle outside of a zoo. Um, you know, like I said, the fishing was nuts. I caught huge Chinook, which Americans call them kings, uh, caught a bunch of coho. Uh, which you would know as silvers, um, caught halibut, caught lean cod. Halibut video definitely coming uh, for you guys. But I couldn't wait to get back and to cook this uh, for you guys uh, because, you know, I'm a big outdoors guy and I was taught anything you take in the wild, you're going to consume 100% of it. And I had a pretty great week of fishing with my wife, so I came home with a ton of fish. So today I thought what I would do for you is jump right into salmon. Um, this is actually coho or silver, and it's actually one my wife caught, ironically. But I wanna show you how big some of these are. This was, you know, basically almost 30 pound uh, Chinook or King that I caught that put up a super memorable fight. And uh, this just came straight from Canada. Um, it was, you have to freeze it to get it back over the border. But I can't say enough good things about the West Coast Fishing Club. What a trip. And they took first class care of us. Uh, I highly recommend that for anybody. But let's jump in. Um, I recently did some pork tenderloin three ways, a real easy, what I call weeknight grilling video. And there was tons of comments about please, more easy stuff like this. Uh, we have other salmon videos on our channel, recipes on our website. But we're going to change it up. Last week, we launched our new rub, Texas Sugar. It's amazing on seafood. It's a sweet heat, it's got a little cumin in it, a couple different peppers. It's great on seafood. So that's what we're gonna use today. Um, I worked with Blaine, who is the executive chef at the lodge, at the clubhouse uh, for the West Coast Fishing Club. And while I was there, I said, how would you cook it? Just to hear something different. And we're gonna use Blaine's technique today. Um, if you like the skin on, which this is still skin on, uh, we're gonna sear it and then we're gonna poach it in butter and it's gonna be delicious. But let's go ahead and get it seasoned. And I'm going to go kind of light. Fish is delicate. I don't think it needs a whole heck of a lot. But do whatever you like and honestly season whatever you like. Some of you might just like salt and pepper, but I'm here to show you new ways to use this seasoning. I've cooked this twice since I've been back and it's great. We're going to let this adhere just a few minutes. I'm going to get 15 minutes Today we're cooking on a Traeger Timberline XL. It works out great because it's got an induction burner. We're gonna sear the fish, uh, and then we're gonna poach it inside. Um, this lesson could be done in your house. Cooking inside is no fun though. You could sear it in a skillet, uh, and then you could throw it, you know, you could, you could poach it on top as well uh, in a pan with butter, but we do everything outside. So I'm going to come over to the induction burner, turn it on, melt some butter. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of stuff in the butter that we're gonna poach in, so I'll see you guys over here. All right, I'm gonna melt some butter down here. I've just got the induction on medium heat and I'm going to saute some shallots and garlic to go uh, in the butter that we're gonna poach with. All right, so we just cook those, uh, like I said, till they're nice and translucent. It smells amazing. So let's add some more butter that we're gonna need for poaching. So this is a super easy way to cook fish, but yet makes it, what I'm gonna say, somewhat 
sophisticated in taste. You could just poach in butter, but I'm amping up the flavor profile um, with what we've put in it. I've got some chives, a little bit of lemon juice. So we're gonna melt this down and I'm gonna get my pan ready for the sear. Let's put this up here. All right, I've got the induction on a seven, which is like medium high heat. And I've sprayed it with avocado oil, which has a high smoke point. I'm gonna sear uh, this skin here for about two minutes. And this coho salmon has a beautiful deep red color. It's gonna be awesome. All right, it's been exactly two minutes. All right, let's get in here where the butter is. It's nice and melted down. Um, I'm gonna add some chives to this, stir it up. Now I did the entire stick of butter. I did not clarify butter. Uh, in talking with Blaine, he encouraged me to go full butter, keep the milk fat to catch the smoke. So we're gonna slip this salmon in, look at that beautiful char. And the goal here is to have the butter all the way up the fish. That's pretty perfect. Now I'm running a Traeger at 300 with alder pellets. Uh, wood is an ingredient. It's a nice light complement uh, to this fish, but it doesn't matter all that much because we're only gonna be in here about 10 minutes. It's in butter anyway. So, you know, doesn't really matter too much. So I'll uh, keep temping this. We're going to 120 uh, and then it's gonna be time to eat. All right. Well, that's good, we're at 120. It's actually been about 15 minutes. Uh, the last time I cooked this, I did it on the bottom shelf. The butter was obviously a little warmer. I'm gonna protect that crispy skin. Look at that. It's not gonna suck, I'll tell you that. All right, I'm gonna get it out of this butter so it does not continue to cook. And we're gonna let it cool off here. And when we come back, I'm gonna have a plate built for you guys and we're gonna taste it and see how we did. I mean, this looks and smells amazing. Please don't judge me for all this green stuff on here, but we've put this on some wild rice. I'm gonna put a little bit of, little bit of lemon on it, and I'm jumping in. You can see the shallots on there. Dude, I can't tell you how good this smells. Here we go, huge bite. So good. Anything you catch in the wild tastes 500 times better. And I like the skin, so I choose to uh, to crisp it up when we seared it. If you don't want to eat the skin, or maybe you're cooking skinless fish, uh, you certainly don't have to do that. But man, this is so good for you. Uh, you know, subtle Texas sugar, because I really want to taste the fish. Uh, cooked in all that butter, it's rich, it's good. That was so simple. I mean, it's like a 20 minute supper uh, that you know my family would definitely enjoy. I and mean, it just brings back all the memories of that trip and all the scenery and stuff like that. So shout out to the West Coast Fishing Club for having me and shout out Tuffy, thanks for, uh, thanks for hollering at me and, and referring me. We'll put this uh, in, in the playlist for the easy grilling type stuff, also the seafood playlist. But if, hey, if you like this Canadian video, good news because next week we drop a video for Canadian Thanksgiving. Got to give a nod uh, to our amazing Canadian customers, but that gives us an opportunity to jump into Turkey well before uh, Thanksgiving here in the States and we'll show you what Texas Sugar can do on that. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week.